So I drink a lot of tea. But let's get into the games here. So we've got the <laughs> Thai versus Albanian teams here, guys. This is going to be the final show match of today. It's going to be a best of one. And there's going to be seven, uh, sorry, 13 rounds in total. First team to seven wins. Right. Vincenzo here looking like he wants to push immediately. He wants that revenge. He needs his Zenzo beans. And he is showing it quite well. So straight away, going to be going in for aggressive. So cool. First player who went down in pretty much every match earlier on is going to be taking the initial damage. Bit unfortunate from him side, from his side. Rurik, like I said, going to be one of the players playing more aggressive from the side of Thailand. Going to be on top of this roof, ducking and weaving, trying to dodge these bullets. I don't know if the, the side of Albania know that he's up here. So this could be a massive oh, advantage man. on the side of Thailand. It's really interesting. Sorry, it's really interesting how Vincenzo is the only one pushing and wanting to get uh, information. Well, I don't think he wants information. The information is just uh, is just a prize. It's just a reward or at least just a bonus. What he wants, he wants heads, my man. He wants heads of these guys. And look at that right now. The first one to go down is actually going to be so cool. It's going to be a taken down for his blood from animal. So cool, just dropping by the sidelines once again, not doing too good. It's going to be Vincenzo going down as well, but Cobra going to get some revenge. But these uh, this tie players going to be pushing in here, trying to knock down this player, but Vincenzo going to get picked up. They're going to be blow blown, blown down the blow walls here. And potentially going to be able to get the knocks as well, but Vincenzo doing his best to stay alive. And now it's going to be a two versus three and advantage on the side of Thailand. They can easily sweep this one away. Cobra's going to go down, Vincenzo, last one left alive, trying to stay up here, but he's only got the Deagle and the push from Animals coming out. He's going to be doing a flip here. Vincenzo got two HP. Trying to survive and he can't in the first round to Thailand. Vicenzo goes down to the players here on the side of Thailand. Oh man. This is um This is kinda hard to watch. Uh Thailand <laughs> that was that that was quite um That was quite an aggression coming in from Thailand. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of scared because I I honestly think the tie like I said the, these guys are no joke like the, these players on on the Thailand side are really good players and they mm -hmm. you can see it there they have the knowledge they jumped on top of the roof they got the information they called out where the players are and then they and they just dived on them so cool the first one going down not a surprise I'm not gonna lie I will give him <laughs> give him abuse he should be playing a lot better but today he's just been throwing these matches which is a little bit unfortunate but we're gonna be seeing going into the second match here second round rather Thailand going to be trying to win a back-to-back -back if Zenzo going to be trying to himself out off into a wall. A little bit of a strange position. He's not going to be able to help out much. He managed to get outside of it. Cobra going in for the potential flank here for his teammates. He may have been spotted. I'm not too sure. There is a player up in the house as well. He has a sniper uh, and it's going to be the bot action going to work for Zenzo. Oh, Zenzo's going to go Vizendo. down as well. Immediately, he was the first one to go down. Toko is going to be following up. Vincenzo, unless of course always could get revived, but never mind. Animal has the animal instincts just to be able to take on Soko as well. It's gonna be a 2v3 situation. If Ruog's not gonna get revived and he's not gonna get revived, J2J taking a lot of damage here. Animal is gonna be on animal safety. Cobra gets taken down as well. Mortar is gonna be the last one for Albania in a 1v3 situation. This is bad. Yeah, this is not looking good at all for the side of Albania. Already going to be down to one player who is going to have to try and do a 1v3 against these absolute animals on the side of Thailand who are just doing a fantastic job of being able to rip this Albanian side to shreds. And now, taking it slow a little bit. They've still got 58 seconds left on the clock here to try and clutch it out. But I don't really, gonna, I don't really see much of a chance from him to be able to do this. But either way... He is going to be trying and initially going to be taking a lot of damage. He's going to be very low at HP right away with no meds at all. So all he can do is hope and pray that they don't actually come for him and they die to the storm. But that's not going to be the case. He's going to be pushing aggressive against him. He goes in for the shots. It's going to happen. This animal takes him down with an SMG, the MP5. Oh, man. This is, um... This is really hard to watch, my friend. I mean... Ah... Uh... Well, actually, I don't know what I mean. It's just really hard to watch. I currently have the words for what's happening right now. Thailand has a lot here, you know, um, and knowing the fact that, you know, Albania is one of the finalists of Europe, uh, Europe Creator Showdown, what else would have happened? You know, what else would have happened if we, uh, we got, you know, Thailand in a Creator Showdown? 
just such a difficult one on this one. I, I would have liked to see Romania come into this instead, as they have been playing on fire really well today, but Albania have just been a little bit out of the way, so not being able to accomplish too much. K2J with the double vector. I didn't think they, those were so, going to be in the set, but either way, he's going to be knocked down by uh, one of these players, and suddenly Ty, I'm going to be falling to the wayside. They've got two players left. It's going to be Albania coming out from the wayside and taking both of them mm. out, and now it's going to be Rurik and Anibal left clutching at straws, wondering what the hell has just happened, as they haven't lost the round so far, but it's seeming like this could be the first one, but Rurik looking to change this up, does a lot of damage, but no knock so far. He's stuck in this maze of walls. He's around with his teammate, but can't quite work out where these other guys are. They're going to be able to take down Cobra, one of the better players. They're going to go in for the flush as well on him. Use a lot of bullets on him, but now they're going to be taking it down to a two versus three, and so cool can't even really be counted as a player here, as he's not really going to be able to accomplish too much, but distraction, and that might work well for Senzo, who's coming out from behind, doing a lot of damage, but doesn't get the knocks down, but Mordor takes down the animal. The final wow. player is going to go oh, down, yeah. but Senzo takes down uh, Rudik here, and that's going to be the first round in the, on the board for Albania. Remember, seven rounds in a row <laughs> for these guys. That's what matters. That is just the first, I believe, of many revenge coming in from Albania. Vincenzo taking the last, uh, that last, uh, that last kill is something he should be proud of. And I think, I think he just needs to get more. Uh, he just needs to be. Uh, what I call this? He just needs to get more momentum on his side. And now that they have it, I think this is just gonna go forward. Oh yeah, for sure. They're, they're now we're going to be trying to build up that momentum and doing their best to be able to come up against these guys. And Mordor are going to be initially taking a lot of damage from the side of the, the Thailand here. Senzo with the Deagle looks to do some damage as well from a distance. Doesn't quite spot any tar targets. Thai team are going to be high up in these buildings. Not on top of them this time, but just inside them on the top floor. Cobra does know K2J is right around this side. He's going to be pushing up aggressive against him. He knows he has to make a difference here, but they're going to be pushing up against him as well, trying to find him. And he's going to be trying to stop them from building around this wall because he knows he's made a mistake. They're hunting for him. They're very hungry for these kills. He's going to be going in for the shots himself. He knocks out one. Oh Cobra, showing them what he's made of. Almost taking down two instantly. And now he's going to be turning on the ties and takes down oh, another one. one. And that's going to be two of the players on on the side of Thailand, instantly going down, and Cobra just going to be memeing on them at this point with a double back. Man, the venom from Cobra is just surreal. Thailand is now down to one more player, so it is currently a 1v4 situation. And they're just going to be able to just push in, advance anything. I, I, well, I mean, I don't think in the FC is going to be able to do anything. And it is Albania going to be able to take in their second round of this game. Wow, and guys, just to correct myself on earlier, so this isn't the same sentence we had earlier either. So this is gonna be all guns are available. So they're able to have grenade launchers, the AWM, the vectors as well. So just to clarify that, this is all perfectly fine. These guys aren't breaking any rules. They're using everything to their advantage they can. And this time we're gonna be seeing these players going on top of these buildings. We're gonna be seeing that almost instant in, instantaneously as well for these guys to be able to do that, the best job here to be able to get the, the damage. And they're going to be pushing that straight in towards the mid as well. Mordor looking to, to, to peek it out here. And it's going to be so cool, taking a lot of damage. Oh, wow. Cobra going to be able to knock down one. Animal's going to be the first one to knock. And Thailand are going to have to revive him. And I think they should be able to get this one out as well. Because there's not going to be too much aggression coming out from the side of Albania to get that flush out. Animal has been revived. And it's going to be Vincenzo pushing up hard here. He wants to try and help his teammates out and stop these guys from being able to push on over. He doesn't realize the player is over towards his right, but now he does, and he wasn't even damaged that much. But he's going to get shot from behind as well, down to about 20 HP. He does a circle of glue walls, and now he's going to be dropping some heals as well. But Thailand taking advantage on the health side. Mordor going to be falling down as well. Cobra's going to have to do a lot of work here to bring it out through and save himself and the team. Right, look at this right now. K2J is still, you know, still has some damage, and Mortar is going to get taken down. Oh man, Albania, they already had the advantage here, but it looks like uh, they are looking like they're losing this advantage that they've had. End of FZ is currently knocked down, however, Sokol is knocked down as well. Looking like a 2v4, never mind, it is now a 2v4 situation for Thailand. That is going to be hard. I think Vicenzo really dropped the ball in this one, and he does take down one, but going to get flushed from behind. Uh, and uh, Thailand going to be able to pick up their player, so they're not, not, not even going to lose any one of these players so far here in uh, this this round, and they're potentially going to have to depend on Cobra taking them all out 
if he could do so. He does a lot of damage, but not going to be able to do too much as the, the storm is going to be coming out against him. And he just builds up a glue wall behind him as he looks to just front hit, throw himself in here. He's trying to do his best to show the teams why he is the pro play. He takes oh, down wow. another one in defense, going to be falling down. He's not going in for the flush, but takes down the animal, going oh, in for another one as well. This Tommy gun doing massive work. He is now going to be up to Tedge going for the flush. But he's going to be pushing instead, forcing these guys on the opposite side of where they need to be. They're going to be jumping around the side. He takes that one, can't quite take out the other one behind him. But the animal going to be on low HP. He's been knocked down already as well. And it's going to be Vicenzo, not Vicenzo Cobra doing a fantastic job, but not good enough as he's going to get taken oh, down. Oh, he went the wrong way. If he went the other way, he was perfectly fine. That was so close. Cobra was doing so good that last round. Oh, man, I... I... I would like to say if, you know, if Thailand wasn't able to revive, then definitely I think Cobra would have gotten that one. Um, but quite unfortunately, of course, with all this advantage, with all the with all the teammates being able to revive, not having any help, any support from his teammates, uh, Cobra just wasn't able to do anything at all at that point. Yeah, Cobra doing an absolute beast of work, trying to clutch out another round, but unfortunately didn't quite work out. So... Thailand just need another four rounds. Albania need another five rounds in total to be able to win this one out. So let's see how they're going to be able to do on this run. Anibal taking a hard flank here in the building, a hard flank. Sorry, a wide flank, and he's going to get the first knockdown. Oh, so cool. Soko going to be flapped down. Oh, wow. Soko takes in. It is going to be the first blood here. Oh, man. Looking really bad for Albania once again. Thailand still has the advantage here. Oh, look at that. Cobra gets the visuals into in the FZ. Bless you, he's going to get taken down in this match. Mortar is going to be able to take down K2J. And it is going to be a kill here. But Cobra still has his fangs against in the FZ. And he's just trying to find this kill, but can't quite get inside this... this glue wall uh, fortress and Thailand going to be down one player but two players inside of Albania going to be knocked out for the count and unfortunately for Cobra he was distracted for too long and he's going to have to try and do a lot of work here to bring this through and he takes down oh, wow. FC with ease and he's going for the second one as well takes down the animal and suddenly it's going to be a two versus one this is everything for Albania's side of it sends are going to go in for the final kill here he spots out that last player uh, from Thailand sorry and he's going to be going for the shots take him out and never mind me burping there because he's going to be able to get the kill and you guys are going to be going wild in chat. Man, that was a sign of hype, man. <laughs> I, I don't blame you, man. But look at this. Albania is not letting Thailand get the lead. They may have gotten the lead at first, but they're not letting that gap go any more higher. Oh, definitely not. I mean, <clears throat> they're, they're, they're going to be... They're playing very hard. I, and I've got to give Vicenzo and Cobra some massive props here. They've been doing really mm -hmm. well for their team. And Mordor as well. So cool. He has actually... I think he got the first kill for Albania altogether earlier on. So not earlier on, but in, in the second match. So I think really well played for him. In the FC, unfortunately, wasn't able to distract and take down Cobra, who probably is a key player for Thailand to take out right off the bat if they can work out which one he is. So all they have to do is work out what he looks like, try and track him and take him down, because I think that's the key to their success. Right, but look at this right now. Cobra has some damage in on themselves. But Urbania, oh man, they're looking like they want to get in some positional advantage against Thailand. But Thailand is just holding in, you know, holding themselves off into their place, wanting Albania to actually advance in. And right now it is Albania, I'd have to say, playing into the hands of Thailand. But let's see what's going to be the result here. Cobra going to be able to deal a lot of damage here against Ruok. But of course, the Mad Kid is going to bring those uh, damages away. Yeah, I think it was actually quite important for Cobra to stay on that height to try and even out the advantage there. But unfortunately, he is going to be moving away, trying to help out with the rest of his teammates. But Senzo doing the first initial shots over towards K2J, who is going to be stuck behind this glue wall with the enemies. And he might go down here. He's going to get flushed out by the players. And Thailand going to be doing a lot of damage, but not going to be able to get the knocks here. And the advantage is on the side of Albania. And Mordor going to be helping out for Senzo as he looks to heal up. Remember, these guys have a limited amount of meds, so they have to be very careful. Cobra. Looking out for these players, tries oh, wow. to jump up, misses, and now he's going to be trapped out in the open. Animal has spots in him, he put trucks down the, the glue wall, but it looks like he might not be able to survive this. He does, he jumps around. Rook going to be trying to shoot down on him, but it doesn't quite work in his favor. 
Right, look at this right now. Oh my god, look at the damage is coming in from Vincenzo. Vincenzo is now gonna go down in the MC, is gonna get knocked out as well. And so cool is gonna follow up Vincenzo. Really hard to look at right now. Cobra is gonna be the last one for Albania standing up, and just like that. Cobra was able to take down Ruok and takes this round as well for themselves. So I have been told by Garena to turn around and they, they, they slapped us in the face and they're like, it's not a rock, it's are you okay? But you know oh. what? <clears throat> How about you put an underscore in your name and uh <laughs> may, may, uh, like, two underscores. So R underscore under uh you underscore you? okay and okay. very easy um but so are you okay gonna be the final one to die there he was doing his best to be able to try and save it for thailand but a little bit too uh, too little too late but i think they put up a really good fight against the albanian side but so far it seems like albania gonna be bringing it in hard and fast on this front and they're thailand trying to use some advanced tactics but it's just not going to work when you got the beast like Vizenzo in the map Right, thank you very much for correcting on that, uh, on that one. Rohawk, we have been saying Rohawk a lot of time at this point, I think. I'm going to have some you know, difficulties uh, taking it out, but uh, let's see, let's try. Are you okay, Tom? I think I am still okay, but look at this right now. I don't think Thailand is okay right now as they are getting circled down by Mortar and the uh, ones from Albania. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of pressure on these guys about to bring it through and uh... Animal going to be very low on HP as they're going to be trying to push the side of Albania, but Mordor going to be going in for the flank here against Are You OK? He may well just get dropped down here if he's not careful. So cool doing a lot of damage here in this, but and he actually oh, takes wow. down in the FC and so cool trying to redeem himself from earlier games and he's going to do a good job there. Taking that advantage for his team, but Mordor potentially going to pull down here, uh, but Are You OK? has to drop down a few blue balls to save himself and he's going to be able to eventually take down Mordor who jumps on top of him to his disadvantage and now it's going to be uh, equal battlefields. Actually, no, Cobra goes down as well. Thailand with the advantage here. Are you okay? Going in for the shot. Doesn't quite manage to take down the player there, but so cool going to be dropping down. Vincenzo going to be the last player left standing on the side of Albania. I don't know if he's going to be able to make this one. Oh man, so cool is now knocked down. Vincenzo, we have seen his skills, but unfortunately his skills wouldn't be able to save him as it is going to be. Are you okay taking that one for a third? side and for those who didn't know are you okay is actually the most famous content creator from thailand and apparently he has two instagram accounts which the other one is a fake one that has more followers than his real one what an interesting <laughs> fact well might be the biggest one but still got a bit of a meme name there but <laughs> i'm sure i'll get a piece from his <laughs> friends but guys remember join the discord if you want to but there's no codes but there is a discord there for you to join as well as these cool outfits for you to check out but nonetheless let's jump into this as these teams are still battling it out in time and managed to take that last round but albania looking to, do, to correct the course of history here and take them now but so cool gonna be taking a lot of damage here let's zoom in here to so cool and see what he's gonna be able to do oh, wow that's a nice timing for me i'm not gonna lie but Vicenzo going to be coming up behind Animal as well, who's just going to be at a massive disadvantage. It's going to be Mordor who takes it down, and unfortunately, they're going to be putting this animal down. Oh, man, a wild animal in the rift. That is not what you want to see. But let's see, though. Are you okay? Is still okay for the meantime wanting to take you know some information on where the enemies are and it gets to be able to knock down mortar k2j is gonna get uh, gonna get taken down as well as a trade for thailand in the fat in the fz is now gonna get taken down as well are you okay is gonna be the last one standing here is he gonna be okay by the end of this round let us see are you okay is never okay anymore as Albania takes the fifth round for themselves. Might be the biggest uh, Thai influencer uh, for Free Five. Unfortunately, wasn't able to clutch that one out. So Albania take the one out, that that match that round, and they're trying to get to that seventh round. So two more rounds for them, three more rounds for Thailand. We're very close here. This is very closely tied. And I just want to say, so all you Albanian fans and Vicenzo fans, I just want to say Thailand are currently play, playing with a disadvantage. So the fact that they're able to stay up and keep at this rate is massive. I have to give them props. I know a lot of you guys are going to be <laughs> giving them abuse, but I, I think they really deserve some props. So make sure to show your support to both them and the to the Albanian side. Either way, let's get into this. Are you OK? You're going to go in for the flank here, trying to take out Mordor from the side potentially, but goes a little bit closer to the building. Doesn't want to get isolated too much. He has got his teammate with them, so they're going to be going in for the hard flank against these guys right off the bat. 
Right, but uh, let's see though if it's gonna be uh, is gonna be any uh, advantage to them. But and quite unfortunately, it is gonna be. Oh, what 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 is happening? <laughs> it's in the screen. Okay, okay, we're moving out. K2J is going to do a lot of damage here against Sokol. Quite unfortunately, wasn't able to get in the knockdown. So that is going to be quite a thing here. If Intelligence could get taken down as well by Inda MZ. But look at this right now. It looks like Sokol is going to get taken down as well. Cobra is going to be the last one from the side of Albania. Never mind. It is going to be the victory for Thailand. Once again, we are currently in the score of 5 to 5. <laughs> it, it, like like I said, they, they're having to play really well to be able to even get to this point right now on the side of Thailand. So uh, I think just GG well played to them so far on this. Either way, whoever wins this really deserves it. So Albania versus Thailand here. We're going to be going back to the crates. We did just see Albania win, win this one out. So it might be time for Thailand to be able to redeem themselves on this small map. Right. Uh, you know, you have to remember as well that what might have happened uh what might have worked for them in you know the european uh creator tournament might not essentially work for the thailand here as you know those are still two different regions which has completely different kinds of styles so uh let us see uh if their strategy would still work and maybe get in the fr uh, be the first one who gets the seven rounds yeah, so straight away, we're going to be seeing a little bit of a slowed down version of this crate map, but Animal's going to be pushing up behind. He gets the double shotgun out, and he does manage to take him in and out for the count. They're going to be going in for the flush as well. Albania, straight off the bat, going to be two players down. Sohu going down as well from Are You OK? Animal, Animal taking down another one, but Mordor going to be able to take down Teiku. To <laughs> what? What's just happened? Three of them have just died in quick succession on the side of Thailand. I thought they're going to be able to win this one out, and that's going to be a one versus two. Maybe. Nope, one versus oh, wow. one. It's going to be Are You OK versus Cobra. And Cobra's going to be jumping straight out here. Uh, health disadvantage now. Pops out a med kit, but unfortunately going to be having this player pushed up behind him. He eventually going to be dropping out the meds as he, as the other player knows what's going to be going on here. He's eventually going to be able to drop this med kit in. I didn't think he was. Oh, and this Thai player just going to be pushing in hard. He might even be able to get the kills. And Cobra going to be on low HP. He's going to have to try and med again. He's going to be outplayed by Are You OK at this point if he's not careful. And there you go, he's managed to pop that off and he realizes what he has to do. He can't carry on playing with these blue walls in the exact same position, so he pushes off from it. And now it's going to be the storm coming in. 50 seconds left on this one. Cobra wow. doing his best to be able to survive here, but are you okay? He's spamming these blue walls all around him. Right, a lot of damage here being dealt here by are you okay? But is he going to be okay by the end of the match? And that is the big question, is my guys. Currently, Cobra's been playing quite submissive against the Thailand. Uh, Thailand team, but let's see. However, if how this is gonna be taken down, they're just waiting for the storm to get in. Amazingly enough, they're holding each other out. Cobra gonna be jumping around the side, trying to get like recovering in the center here. And somehow, are you okay? Gonna be teleporting around in towards the center, and and now he's gonna be stuck outside in towards the storm. Unfortunately, Sebi's uh, sort of uh, playing style has come through on this front, and it's gonna be are you okay? Stuck out in the storm, he's gonna get tagged down heavily here, dies, <laughs> lays down, and it's gonna be Albania taking the advantage here. And Cobra clutching it out for his team, and now they're gonna be potentially going to the match point here. That was an amazing strategy coming in from Cobra, knowing the fact that, of course, he, uh, the storm is closing in. He just wanted to get away from the, from the walls that he closed himself in and just wanted to get into the middle ground, hold himself up, and let the storm do its thing. That is quite a good strategy. But here's the thing. While they have... Uh, while they're currently in a tournament, uh, tournament point... This is where things get even, even more crucial. This is just right down to the wire here. Are you okay? Going to be going into the first potential fight here. But Vicenzo managed to survive, but only just he was tagged down by about 20 HP there. So he has to be very careful because Are you okay? Is a very good player here, laying down the glue walls in perfect succession, being able to control himself fairly well, knows where these players are. So changes the position. He's going in for the shots, but unfortunately for him, he's getting taken down here. He's going to get knocked and he's going to get flushed. Wow. Well, the likes of Vicenzo getting the revenge. So cool, taking down K2J. This could be it. Cobra potentially going to be able to take down the animal. He's going to be on low HP himself. 
This could be uh, spell on the end for Thailand's uh, perfect rounds here. Inda FC it takes some shots, does a lot of damage, but it's going to be down, down to this one wow. man trying to clutch out, but he's going to be doing going in a one versus four situation they know exactly where he is as well so he's going to be running out in the open towards the other players he's putting, going to be putting out the fires but not the shots uh really going to be landing on these guys he takes down one but that's it and that's going to be a gg Buria going to eu albania clutching it in for the team of europe man that was um that was quite a revenge match that was quite a revenge from Vincenzo and forced for the entirety of Albania going against Thai. You know, they they just showed us that, you know, despite not winning, quite unfortunately, the tournament, despite not being able to last that long into the Battle Royale solo, they still showed out this that that they actually deserve to be on the spots. Oh yeah, for sure on that front. That was a fantastic play by these guys so got to give them massive props on both sides both the thailand team and also albanian team here we also have cobra from autocatonis and mordor from avg albania so cool from well team so cool and then we have Vicenzo, mm -hmm. who's on the you know the, the clan of uh, gladiators but really just on the team of himself as being one of the biggest uh, uh influences within the whole of europe for free fire so make sure